Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome to another one of my episodes. So right now I'm just starting. Um, everything is different. It's so weird that I don't remember most of the keys, but <laughs> we are trying over here. So right now I just I'm going to pick this station and we are going to be engine 35. Um, engine 47 acting as engine 35. So we'll see how this is going to turn out. We're going to be yeah, the engine. All right, so I got the guys ready. We just got to put put ourselves available so we could receive some runs and uh, engine. serious. I didn't even get to introduce structure fire. All right, so we got engine a commercial structure fire and zero one one five addresses nickel street oh, and nickel Denver, and Exeter, Denver X Exeter. All right, I know what that is. But anyway, um, welcome to another yeah, it does. It is. Um, they did call the correct box. Okay, so welcome to another one of my episode. And yeah, I can't do a throwback NYPD without doing a throwback FDNY. So you know, I had to do it too. Um, now we got the now we got GTA 4 working. You know, it's just these episodes still gonna. I guess we still gonna have these episodes coming out. And you know, if you guys want to see more, of course, click on that like button. <laughs> But anyway, we are heading to that location right now to take care of the fire. But it's been a while, man. And I know we've been focused on GTA 5 for the past couple of months, of course. But you know, it, we, I mean, we started from GTA 4, and there's nothing wrong with GTA 4. I mean, other than, oh my God, that was close. Um, other than the graphic upgrade. But remember, we still have. I can't believe, but I still can't believe that GTA 5 got to GTA 4 level and passed it already. I mean, most yeah, for almost every mines. I don't know about the firefighter. Uh, but some of the mines. But it's so many things. And all right, so we. I think we are getting close now. Oh, don't tell me is this place on fire. Yes, yeah, the hotel. Yep, right outside. All right. Engine 30. We can actually use a truck to take care of the fire outside. On the box. Come on, come on, cars. Don't pass over it. And watch a tire start burning. Like this dude right here. Like, dumbass. Really? I got him. Oh, they mean to do that. All right, you know what? Let's grab the extinguisher so I could take out this fire a little bit faster. All right, because these guys keep driving over this freaking small ass fire. All right. Oh my God. How do I do this again? Oh man, this is so embarrassing. Okay, there you go. There you go. I knew I could remember. <laughs> I knew I remember it. But yeah, guys, bear with me. Um, oh, damn, we got two casualties. Oh. All right, I'd like to when I get to a fire, like I get there on time. Nobody's dead, but it is what it is. We got two dead right now. Hopefully there's no more in the building, but you know what? We're just going to do our best. Okay, there's more fire over here. I need everybody to evacuate, please. Press an N right now. I think N is for evacuate, right? Why are these people still sitting there? All right, I guess N works sometime. All right, let's just take care of this fire right now. And you guys are not getting out of here, right? Not anytime soon, right? But anyway, that was it. But uh, um, in most cases, like I like to check the whole area at least, not to miss a little bit of fire or whatever. Because I remember you guys usually remind me, like, "Yo, Steve, there was a little fire on top of the building or on the side somewhere." So let's just check right now, which I don't see anything. And yeah, I think we should be clear. But right now we do have to call corner for them. That's two bodies and we can't just leave them on the street like that. Oh, really, miss? Is she serving or helping herself? Oh, she walked away now. All right, so. I know corner is going to take care of the body. Why is I guess the lady went inside the building. <laughs> okay, they got it. Yeah. 
All right, and shout out to all the firefighters that watch my videos, man. Shout out to you guys. I mean, as much as I do like the PD stuff, I try to show you guys some love too by doing the um, FD stuff, and we just do our best, man. This is the closest we could get the game to, you know, to. I mean, this is nowhere near what you guys have to deal with, but some kind of way you um people understand what you guys have to do as far as dealing with a fire and stuff like that. But it's nowhere near the real thing. I know that for a fact, but this is just a game that represent you guys and not represent. And I mean, because I know most why they haven't create like an official, especially with GTA is like why nobody want affiliate with GTA is because some people think it promotes violence. Like right now, I'm just playing regular. I'm not sure and everybody that I see. It depends on who's playing GTA. Yeah, GTA is an open world game. You are able to do whatever you want, but you know, it is what it is. All right. So Engine 35 to Manhattan fire is under control. I was trying to find Return out how to update this patch. <laughs> All right, so we just let this patch know that we are available for calls. Um, we are heading back to our um firehouse right now, and we'll see if if we don't get no runs on the way. Or, uh, but right now, since we don't have a run, we just have to follow the traffic rules and. <laughs> And just, you know, drive regular until we get back to the station. But yeah, hopefully you guys are going to enjoy this, of course. And all right, I Manhattan think we're getting one of vehicle, vehicle fire. fire. Okay, first alarm. Box Topaz zero and zero Ivy three. Drive. Addresses. All right, we're going to take this one way. Ivy drive north. All right, so we're going to go down this. You know what? Yeah, let's keep going on this one way. Cause I thought it was gonna be on the left, but anyway. Alright, so we are heading for this vehicle fire. Hopefully we can make it on time before this vehicle actually blow up, but it just depends. Sometimes they give us enough oh, okay, not enough time this time. Okay, by the time we get there, that vehicle's probably fried already. What is it? Oh, there you go. Um, I mean, we did our best. We made it here. As soon as we got the run, we made it over here. So I don't know. Engine 35 to Manhattan. Show me on scene. So as far as firefighters, man, sometimes when they get to the scene, they can't do anything else. I mean, you can only do your best. Certain things just going to happen anyway. And, you know, there's no way for you to stop it, but you know them. Of course, they're gonna try their best to stop certain things from happening. But you know how that is. Um, but anyway, we just called a tow truck for this vehicle. We didn't make it on time. This car is done, but there was no bodies. Or there's nobody that actually died from this um, vehicle fire. So I still think we did good. All right. So Engine let's head to, to let's head fire let's head back to um, the firehouse Returning and so we get another room. Available for calls. And whoever oh Manhattan announcing already? a residential structure fire. All right. Engine thirty five, box zero one zero two, addresses Denver Avenue and Wardine Street. Yeah, I know where that is, sir. I keep saying I know what that is, of course, because I've been playing with this map for so many years now. I could say that <laughs> and you just know where everything is. I think that might be the um, one of those buildings. Let me see. Yep, it got to be this building right here on the right. All right, so we're going to be right over here. Um, there's a fire. Oh, that's crazy. 1075, All right? Um, you know what? Let me just grab my extinguisher because I just saw it on the side. I hope it's not that high, though. Is it? Um, you know what? It's a little bit high. No, I don't think my extinguisher could take care of it. So let's grab the truck. 
Let's grab the truck. We're just gonna turn to the side a little bit, and we'll we're just gonna use the hose to take care of the fire on the side of the building. So it might be both building on fire if it looks like this right now. So in that case, we we'll, we would call for a ladder truck, but you know we don't have nothing like that right now. I mean, we could call only if I'm playing on multiplayer or whatever. But um, in that case, you know what? Any of you guys want to join me for an episode of um, Firefighter and stuff like that? That would be cool. So if any one of you guys got a good copy of GTA and know how to play GTA, <laughs> maybe we'll do an episode. Maybe I ask DCP or something. If DCP still have the game working properly right now, I'm just checking to see if the fire is done on the side of the building and we look clear. So now we have to take care inside the building because um, once it's spread out, on the outside like that, most likely we will find some more fire inside a building. Hopefully I'm right. Damn, we're going up. There's nothing. Yeah, because it's supposed to be on the first to second floor at least. I could hear it though. Like on GT and GTA, like you could hear like when there's a fire, like right here. Alright. So we got this. Let's take care of this. Yeah, so the way I would do it is have you guys. Oh my god, my watch. What time is it? Not 12 o'clock. What the hell? Okay, my watch is going off. Um. Okay, there you go. We take care of it. <laughs> yeah, so I will have one of you guys drive a ladder truck, and one of you guys could be battalion, and we could just do a great episode because I'm showing up to a fire like this by myself. Knowing that we could use a ladder truck right now and also a battalion just to be on the scene, or maybe another ladder truck. I could jump over here, but it's always a fail, so I'm not gonna attempt this right now. Um, we're trying to play it safe right now, too, so let's go downstairs. We're just gonna go down. Nah, I'm not gonna do it. I was so thinking about it though. I watch my players just drop all the way down, <laughs> and all these guys jump after me, too. But anyway, there's a fire on the next and I mean on top of the next building. So let's go downstairs and find the entrance for that building and trying to take care of it. But um, in most cases, uh, I always wonder like who trying to figure out what caused the fire. Is it the battalion or you guys like a regular fireman could trying to figure it out? I mean. Depends on why you're taking care of the fire, you will figure it out. But who have to figure out what caused the fire? Is it the battalion after they show up or just a regular fireman? Is it the entrance? No, that's not the entrance. Um, is it just a regular fireman that could just say, oh, there you go. These wire caused it or this. I don't know. Somebody op um, left the stove open or something like that. I mean, left the stove on. Or something like that. So it just depends. But right now we're trying to get to the roof of this building to take care of the fire. And I think we should be all set. It was just not it was I don't think it was that much. But we still have to take care of it, of course. Cause that fire was spreading, so it spread to this building too, right here. Let's take care of it. Okay. Is there any more? Here and I think there's a little bit. He's just making sure. All right, I think we we good. You know what? I have to check everywhere. So since I'm on the roof, let's check to make sure we take care of everything, and we can't go downstairs from here. All right. Yeah, man, but we did have a great like a bunch like a lot of great time with GTA GTA four actually because we all upgrade. I mean, we did upgrade to GTA five and there's a lot of things coming up for GTA five, but GTA four was freaking amazing. If this game was well optimized, man, you guys could have the same experience that we all had like to play GTA four. You really have to have a good PC that could run it. 
or you're going to deal with some of the major issues that me and every other um, a peop- every other person from this community had to deal with as far as when LS when LCPDFR first came out, how to deal with crashes, how to install the mod and it might not work, how one mod could be causing all your crashes and most of all FPS loss. <laughs> like <laughs> we've been through a lot. Let's just say from what this community been dealing with to where we are now, man, is a lot of progress. And I'm definitely proud of how the community is growing, man. And engine 35 to Manhattan fire see. is under control. And we got an automatic fire alarm right away. All right, let's back it up. Manhattan announcing that was way three. too quick. Can automatic I get a break? Fire alarm. Engine 35. Box zero one zero six addresses. Is it all my Avenue? Yeah, Pirate it is Street. freaking. All right. Anyway, um, <laughs> don't mind me. That was the, I didn't even get a break. I just update dispatch on that. Um, that I'm done with the fire and they sent me a run right away. But anyway, we are heading to that location right now. And maybe we could ask dispatch to send us <laughs> to the rock or something. <laughs> All right, well, oh, we could be on medical or something like that. So we won't be available, man. So they won't send us no more runs because they're not giving us even a break. But anyway, we are heading to that um fire right now. It's an automatic fire alarm. So most likely it might be a false alarm, but we still have to come and check anyway. So we are here right now and we'll see if I don't see Engine anything yet, but let me grab my extinguisher seen. just in case. Just oh, look where I was walking at. All right, just making sure. All right, it looked like everything is clear. It might be a false alarm, but I just check. I mean, this is all we could check in this building right now. I don't think there's no door that actually open and we have to check the back of the building just to make sure that everything is clear. But guys, um, I guess this is going to be my last run for the day and hopefully you guys are going to enjoy this. I haven't did FDM one for a while. That's why I was like, you know what? Let me take it back. Today's Thursday. We doing a little throwback Thursday and yeah, hopefully you guys are going to enjoy it. Of course, this is GTA four with a bunch of mods and yeah. We try our best to make it look like the real thing, but you know, at the end of the day, this is a game and always remember that. Um, what else? You know what? Yeah. To I just let this bash know that this the was a false alarm. alarm. Is a false alarm. Returning to station and available for call. Yeah, not anymore. But anyway, guys, hopefully you guys are all going to enjoy this episode. Um. Yeah, let me just check out over here. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Come on, let me go, man. <laughs>